Every build has to prepare the ground for foundations, but not many have to deal with nine major electrical cables that power a huge chunk of the city, or a Victorian sewer system that still functions as the main city sewer. We're now down the famous Brighton Victoria sewer system. Now these are really old sewers, they are built to last for 500 years. The architecture, as you can see, is incredible. A 120 metre of new sewer pipe had to be formed 5.5 metres away from the perimeter of our beach building, allowing the sewer flow to circumnavigate the I360. And brand new, higher capacity cables had to be fed through a concrete tunnel underneath the site. When you're excavating a site, you never know what you might find. To enable us to make our connection, we had to do this on a night shift. Uh, this was because the flows in the sewer had to be low, so we had to make sure that people weren't flushing their toilets, emptying their baths, using kitchen sinks and dishwashers and stuff like that. It was quite a tricky operation because we really weren't sure how the sewer was going to react. We used cutting equipment to cut into the top of the brickwork. We lifted the top section of the sewer off to expose the flows that were inside. We then had to wait for another few hours to let the flows drop down low enough before we could install our stoppers and our bungs. The bungs, one goes in our upstream pipe, there's a bung in our new downstream pipe, and then connecting between that, we've used very high strength plastic pipe that allows the flows from the existing sewer to come down the run that flow through our new works area, then runs round the site through our diversion, and then runs through the same setup at the other end on the downstream side in manhole two. 